In this module, you're going to learn a bit more about one of the two ways that you can access DGS newsletters on the DGS website. We are busily scanning newsletters. As I record this, we have got issues back as far as 1996, completely scanned and archived, and we're continuing to scan more, so hopefully by the time you see this, they'll be even more out there. But one of the ways that you can view them is to go to the website, and from the home page, click on the Resources tab, and over on the left, you will see a Newsletters link. And if you click there, then you will start seeing a list of the newsletters from the most current going back to the oldest ones that we have. So you're always going to see the most recent newsletter here and uh, as you step through these tabs down here you will step back in time and see the older newsletters. Now, if you click on any one particular link, like for example if we go back to the first page and click on this July September link, just for the, the uh, aid of speed I have it open already, that's what you're going to see. Now in this view the newsletters are contained in a frame, and so you have to use this slider bar to slide down and slide back up to view the newsletter. One other thing I'd like to point out in the list of newsletters, occasionally as you peruse the list, you're going to see something like this. Now, for this issue, when I went to scan it, I didn't have a copy, and so far I've been in, unable to find one. And so I'm appealing to all members and former members, if you have a copy of this newsletter, to please make it available one way or another. And one of the ways you can make it available is to scan it yourself. So if you have a, uh, a newsletter that I don't, and you have a flatbed scanner, and you're willing to scan it for us, you can scan it at 400 DPI, 24-bit 24, 24 color, and save it in a TIFF file format. And you can contact me, Tony Hansen, uh, via this email address as webmaster at dallasgenealogy.org. I would be very, very much in your debt. Thank you.